Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Listen, let me just tell the story first before I tell it. Tell the story first. Okay, so this is how I got hooked up with him. Some like okay. porn star had hit me up. Apparently, he likes this. I'm, I'm probably going to give it away. Black girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Bill Maher. Bill Maher oh loves black God. girls. Oh, my God. Is it Bill Maher? I didn't say anything. Oh, I, but he's not a politician. She so, said he had a political show. She didn't okay, say so he's a got a political show. I'll tell you what, to make you feel even more comfortable then, right? I, I've been a Hollywood dude for a long time. Bill Maher, I, I think, I, I feel, and this is totally genuine, I feel his whole position and his whole shit as a comedian for the last 20 years is just to, to have been impressed black girls. That's it. So, like, he's been out to dinner with, with Corinne every... Corinne Stephens. So, yeah. So I don't think, I mean, I don't, I don't, he was really, like, weird, though. Bill Moore? Well, he's older. You know that, right? Like, he's in his 60s, and it's like, well, hey. Well, I lied to him. So I have to, I started to lie to everybody about my age. So, like, when I went there, I was 18, and he was like, how old are you? I was like, I'm 22. He was like, well, what, when did you graduate high school? I couldn't think of the math in my head, so I just said something. He was like, well, sweetie, that would mean you're this old. And so I was like, fuck. He was like, so you're lying to me. I don't like liars. So he got real serious, and then he started asking me other questions. Really? About because I so I was getting money from him, obviously because he paid me for the service, blah blah blah. And I was I had to split it with the person or give them a cut because they had booked it. Yeah. He was like, "What person?" He was so mad. He you could tell he probably wanted to cancel. Like he was. It was the most awkward awkwardest experience ever. And I but there's so much more, but I don't want to speak on. He's a really big dick though. That's what I heard. Nice. So every no. So here's what I heard. Like him, like that. David good Spade. Good him. I heard Spade's got oh, a yeah, fucking David hammer Spade's on. Hung, yeah. Um. And there and there's guys that are just known as like, all right, cool. You got a big dick. You know, put up with this shit. My question is this though: Is you're not a prostitute? No. So is there a service for porn stars where it's just like, hey, I want this porn star and I'll take this porn star and it's cool? Who is he calling and who is he paying at that point? Black girls. Yeah, but, but 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 who does Bill Moore call? Like, did you have a a pimp or somebody who was just like, hey? I don't even. I literally have. It was another porn star, and it was a white girl, and I have. I don't think she's fucked him, but she just is like. I think she just sets shit up for us. Because really? I know another black girl that went and seen him, and like, she went through the same person I went through. But how was, how does the money exchange hands? Then does it have to go through the white girl? No, he gave it to me. Babe. Oh, did he in cash? Mm-hmm. That's some big boy and he shit. He gave me extra because he was pissed. Really? Yeah. What was he so pissed off about? That I lied about my age and that I was giving someone a cut. He was very upset that I was giving someone a cut. He didn't know that. Really? Be- because he thought it was some form of prostitution? Or- I have no idea and I don't want to know and I've never seen him again. I've seen him one time. It was so weird because first of all, I'm 23 right now. So sure. me having a conversation with somebody like that, we are never on the same level. There's not one thing that we can talk about. It was just what? That was weird. That was yeah. like trying to put two magnets he's, backwards together. Like, he's you know close I mean? to 45 years older than you, somewhere in there. How was this sex? Boring. Boring, yeah. But he had a, he had a huge dick, so yeah, it's like, all right, cool. Yeah, but it just cool. wasn't my, sp- my speed. Put yeah, it that speed. way. His speed was like rabbit speed. Oh, his was. Or not rabbit speed. I'm rabbit speed. His was like more like sloth, like very like slow. And he wanted to kiss and make love. and just, He was like, slow down, baby. Like every time, like. You know, like, I'm trying to get this shit done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get the fuck out of there yeah. at this point. Because it's just like, hey, I'm with a 60-year-old white dude who's slicking his hair back. And he's pale. That's yes. a pale motherfucker. He's almost see-through. That guy is almost see-through. And when you're having sex with him, you're probably just like, hey, just let me get this money and get the fuck out of there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and my boyfriend was waiting, I think, outside in the Camaro, parked in his garage. I don't know if he knows he was out there waiting. Because he went, Bill put me in the uh, guest house. So like right when you get coming, it's a guest house, right? And then I think it's his yard and then his house. Yeah, he, I didn't get to go in that far, <laughs> but I got to see his guest house. You to fuck him in the guest house? Yes. Shit, you didn't even get to fuck him in the main house. No, that's some slave maybe, shit. Maybe maybe the second time. That is time. some slave shit. Yeah, right? like that's fucked up because he got in trouble for that. You know that, right? Wait for what? For the, for making a slave comment to uh, about being a house. Oh, did he? N word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like. And then he's making you stay in the guest house. I didn't stay in there. We fucked in there. You just fucked in the guest house and you had to bounce. Yeah. Man. And so your boyfriend's out in the Camaro. And what does he say? Does he know you're at Bill Maher's house? I think he knew I was there. He didn't really care. I mean, he's a, he was a porn star at the time, too. I'm not dating him no more. But he was a porn star, so he, he was used to taking me to do little, like, side gigs and shit. Sure, sure. And Bill he, he's not 
intimidated by Bill at all. So like, no, who would be? Um, yeah. I'm not intimidated by no, Bill Mark. No, I can't no, think no. of anyone on this planet that would be. Not at all. Not Are at you guys all. Being sarcastic. Yeah. No. One hundred percent. Like he's a tiny man. I would decimate him as a human being and immediately yeah dance killed hundreds of people in war by the way so like by me saying this in no way shape or form it like it, dan knows where it's just like all right cool if it's a guy like uh, let's say zion williamson you know from duke or like shaquille o'neal where you're just like yo that's a big motherfucker chris weber someone like that where you're just like all right cool that's a big fucking dude uh john jones where you're like all right i'm not going against john jones Bill Maher, though, is is the bottom of the, you know, that, that guy is two tennis balls away from a fucking walker across the floor <laughs> where you're just like, Stop. all right, cool, Bill, have fun with all of that. But his gig is black girls, and it always has been for oh, many, many years. And another thing, I was like, after we were completely done, I was like, are you satisfied that you got a black girl? And he was like, who told you that I like black girls? I was like, they told me. That's why they sent me. Oh. He was pissed that I said that, that I assumed he was very interesting. Yeah, the town is known for years. So, like, you know, we, we've always seen him. He's always with a black girl. And it's always, you know, if you look at his show, it's very, hey, this is for the, the, the people. And you're like, who the fuck are you trying to impress right now? Like, for, you know, why? What was the, what was the overreaching theme there? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so I think that's it. And, like, for you, shit, I, you've got to be his dream girl. I don't think so. He didn't call me again. He never called you again. Was there other girls that he did call again that yes. you knew of? Yes. Were they black girls? Yes. Really? And they were right after me, like two weeks two weeks later. That's why I was like, well, he definitely didn't like what I did. Can I say what it is? Who? I what? think you were too light skinned. I think so too. Because the girl that he booked after me was way darker than yes. me. Yes. And so every time I seen him out or I'll, 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 like around town, it was always a darker skinned girl. So it could have been that. I don't think it was you. Trust me, you were like you were doing fine for yourself. I, I think it was just simply the fact that he likes darker skin girls. That's his jam. Like, if it's you versus, like, Lapita Nuango, he's that's that's his jam. Like, you might be a little too light-skinned for him. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah, so when you get back in the car after all this, what's the conversation with your boyfriend? Well, it was... Not only was my boyfriend in the car, but the guy that, like, had... So it was a girl that booked it, but a guy had went to, like, supervise it to make sure he got the money. Mm -hmm. So he was in the backseat of the Camaro. He had to meet with Bill because Bill was pissed. So it was super awkward. He was pissed off. The guy was pissed off at me. He was like, why would you tell him all that? Like, I was like, you didn't tell me I couldn't say anything. Like, I had to conversate with the man before we fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was very awkward. <laughs>